Hi, I'm Lily Anderson Messick with the Florida Native Plant Society, and I'm here on a roadside in the Florida Panhandle checking out a few of our native milkweed species. This is Asclepius tuberosa var rolfsii, one of our many species of native milkweed. This, this is a very mature, probably very old plant um, that has been here and persisted for a long time. There probably used to be many more plants in the woods behind me, but they were likely killed out by fire suppression. When uh, Florida is mostly fire dependent habitat and when we seclude fire from the habitat, we lose many of our herbaceous species like milkweeds and other wildflowers and grasses. And they persist often along the roadside because mowing along the roadside mimics what fire does for the landscape, which is it takes out all of the woody shrubby plants that would end up shading out these plants. So many of our milkweeds are just persisting along roadsides in Florida. And when roadside uh, construction and roadside widening happens, these plants can sometimes become casualties. My friend Scott Davis is out here today. He knew that these milkweeds were along this road, 319, in the Panhandle. And when he knew, found out that they were going to be widening this road, he organized volunteers from the Florida Native Plant Society and other, um, other citizens and other members of other organizations who were interested in coming out to help to dig and remove these plants so that we can save them and put them in areas where they can continue to thrive. Hi, my name is Scott Davis. I am with the Florida Native Plant Society. You just heard from my good friend, Lily and she gave you a good introduction to the issues associated with declining milkweeds here in the state of Florida. And so these milkweeds in this region are largely confined to the side of the road. And US 319, the road that we're on today, is slated to be widened in the near future. And so what a lot of Floridians are not aware of is that Florida statutes do not afford any protections to imperiled species of plants, not to endangered species, not to threatened species, not to commercially exploited species, and not to species that are important for things like monarch butterflies. And so if these plants are going to persist into the future and they're only on the side of the road, whenever a road widening project comes through and modifies the roadside, often these plants are lost in that region forever, which makes removing them critical, very important. And so we went ahead and contacted FDOT and members of the Florida Native Plant Society went out, we looked for them, we mapped them, we photographed them, and we provided that information to FDOT and to other state agencies. And then therefore after that we received our permissions and were able to go forward with removing these plants. So what do we do about this issue? What do we do about the fact that Florida statutes do not afford any sort of protection to rare plants on public land in places like FDOT right-of-way? Endangered animals have rights. They, there are regulations that are in place to protect them. If there's a gopher tortoise here, it will be removed if it's within 25 feet of the roadside, but the plants will not be removed. So what can we do about that? Well, one, we can contact the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. We can contact the Florida Department of Agriculture. We can contact Florida Department of Transportation and ask them, are they going to develop some sort of program that will work to remove these plants? Or are they going to develop a formal partnership with an organization like the Florida Native Plant Society to make sure that the widespread losses that we are seeing across the state right now for milkweeds and many other rare plants will stop happening? 